This video is going to cover the basic navigation of the Cal Poly Humboldt student portal. What you're looking at right now is the student portal. First, let's cover the basic sections of the portal. Up here, we have a bunch of different drop-down menus. Here is your personal information as a student, including your student ID and email. Over here, we have a bunch of different icons that are commonly used by students, such as accessing the student center, viewing your holds, some important dates and deadlines, among many other important things that you might find helpful. If we scroll down, you're gonna see your checklist. I personally have none right now, but if you do have anything on your checklist, they'll appear right here. Your personal information, including your emergency contacts and some other information about you, such as your address. Here is Student Center Help. Student Center can be a little intimidating at first, so if you need some help navigating that, you can check out this quick reference of the Student Center as well as some other videos that we have available. Down here are our social media sites, so in case you want to stay connected with the university, you can check these out. And, of course, some news and events. First, let's go over these drop-down menus. We've got Portal Pages, Home, Academics, Financial Matters, Support Services, and Library. You'll notice that these are the same down here. They do lead to the same place. They're just in different spots. We put them down here for easier access because they're so commonly used. Next, we have tools where you can access a variety of things such as Student Center, Zoom, Canvas, your email, calendar, and a campus map, which is pretty handy. Quick links, which includes some more helpful information, such as viewing your holds, scholarships, DARS, housing, making a payment, registering for classes. You'll also notice again that some of these you can find in other places on the portal, such as DARS here is also available here for easier access once again. Let's move over here to help and tutorials. We've got portal video tutorials as well as student center help and basic navigation. So if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, these go through some helpful navigation tips that will help you get on your way. And last is my menu. This is sort of like a favorites bar. You can add items to the menu. That way you don't have to go searching through these drop downs for something specific. You can't remember where it's located. So to do that, you just click add items to my menu. And then you can just kind of scroll through here and see what you would like to add to your menu. Let's see what that looks like. Let's say I want to uh, have Zoom and financial matters and uh, some housing. So I have added that to my menu. You can see that here, and boom, there it is. Let's go back home by clicking this green circle here. My menu, there they are. So that's pretty handy. Over here, we've got the message center. Sometimes the university will send out mass messages to students to get information across. So this is where those will pop up. Over here, we've got the user icon. You can see that you're signed in and go to your settings. Settings are pretty cool. You can see how the portal is displayed and you can adjust the font size. So if you'd like to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. Let's go back home. So you'll see right here, we've got a search bar. It says search humboldt.edu. It does, as you can imagine, search humboldt.edu, but not the student portal. This is my Humboldt. This is the university's website. So let's say I'm looking for official transcripts. I can see unofficial transcripts right here, but I need an official transcript. I don't know how to find that. So let's click here. As you can see, I've already searched for that. I'm going to click there, press go. It redirects me to the Cal Poly Humboldt website, which is humboldt.edu, and gives me some information about getting official transcripts. So that's a pretty neat function. We've got the library. All this right here is all the information you could possibly want about the library, including a search bar for the library. We've got some contacts over here, some different information that you might find helpful and some library tools if you're doing research for a class. Next, let's go to academics. So here's all the information you could possibly want for academic matters, including some contact information in case you wanna access or contact the advising center. Different links to enroll, drop, classes, register, etc., and your classes that you're currently enrolled in. Scroll down a bit, you can see a bit more about your academics, including your overall GPA if you're a transfer student compared to your Cal Poly Humboldt GPA, how you're doing, overall in terms of how you are nearing graduation and if you've applied for graduation, if that's been received or not, your class level, your major, when you're expected to graduate, and your advisor. Let's check out financial matters. And this has all the information you might want for financial matters, including what your charges are for the next term, how much you're anticipated to get in aid, if you've got any outstanding tuition charges, it also has some information about your caps, including your SUG limit, your units earned towards the financial aid cap, how much you've used of the Pell Grant, 
and any debt that you might be in, you can check that out pretty easily from this page as well. And over here, you're going to see some really helpful links, such as scholarships, forms for financial aid, accepting your awards, viewing your awards. I would definitely suggest checking out some of these links, especially scholarships and apply for scholarships, and to see what you're eligible for and definitely accept them as well. Last, we've got support services. This page has everything that includes housing over here. We've got the Student Health Center and Wellness Center contact information and some more quick links for different support services like the Campus Police, Counseling and Psych Services, the Recreation Center, Housing once again, and Job and Career Internships. If we scroll down a bit, you can get connected by volunteering, being parts of clubs and activities, student governance, Zipcar if you need a car. Zip car is pretty cool. Scroll down some more. This here is for you, your safety and your rights. So know your rights and responsibilities as well as filing a claim and reporting harassment or assault. We've got some subjects here that are common and very difficult for students and their friends to deal with. So if you need more information and help with one of these subjects, this is a good place to start. And the Counseling and Psychological Services, or CAPS for short, HSU CAPS at Humboldt.edu, is a fantastic resource you should absolutely take advantage of if you need help as a student. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Current job opportunities, so if you're looking for a job, this is also a good place to start. And you can just click this hyperlink here, which brings you to Handshake, which is a student job portal, so you can see what jobs are available to you as a student. The last thing I want to say is if you are accessing the student portal on a smaller device, such as a phone or a tablet, these drop down menus will end up being converted to a hamburger menu like this. So you just click the hamburger menu and you're going to see the same things that were available to you just in a different format to better fit your screen. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and have a fantastic semester.